the untold story on my CRA account business updated rules that you must read. My CRA account business introduction. On May 28, 2020, Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, made an announcement concerning the CRA and COVID-19 collections, audit, objections and appeals procedures. It looks like they are starting to slowly open up again. So, it appears that the timeout honeymoon for my CRA account business for business and personal income tax matters is over and there will now be new rules. In this Brandon's blog, I will describe them for you. Collection on brand new financial debts. Collections activities on brand new debts will be put on hold up until additional notification, and also versatile settlement arrangements will be readily available. If you cannot pay your taxes, child and family benefit overpayments, Canada student loans, or other federal government program overpayments completely, payment arrangements are offered. Collection officers will certainly attend to pre-existing cases individually. CRA says that will do so in a way to prevent financial difficulty. I think the fact that either you or your company owes CRA money that you cannot pay, that in itself spells financial difficulty. My CRA account business audits returning. The CRA is returning to a complete function of their audit group. They say that they are adjusting their methods given the health as well as economic impacts of COVID-19. They will be focusing as a priority on higher dollar audits first. Audits close to the conclusion. Those with a calculated significance to the Government of Canada, provinces and other taxation stakeholders. Initiatives to combat scams and other criminal activity, and CRA will for now continue to recognize electronic signatures as having met the signature requirements of the Income Tax Act, as a temporary administrative measure. The CRA statement said that they are developing new methods of interacting with taxpayers. CRA will function with taxpayers and my CRA account business to establish steps and methods to adapt to the present truth. For instance, one new way is that they are now going to supply taxpayers with the alternative to send requested details via electronic mail. Some vital adjustments will be given using added time and in advance consultation on requests to supply the CRA with information and access. Public health regulations will certainly be followed. Added practical steps will be expanded both in terms of timing or other aspects of any CRA request. Requirements for information, RFI, provided before March 16th and due after that day will be reviewed. Taxpayers as well as third parties, including financial institutions, will be gotten in touch with where the CRA continues to need the information in the RFI. The CRA is looking at new measures to catch people making unsupported claims for pandemic emergency benefits. My CRA account business objections, appeals and taxpayer relief. CRA says that Canadians' entitlement to benefits and credits are essential to continue to be provided throughout COVID-19. There should not be any delays with the handling of these objections. For objections related to various other tax obligation matters submitted on personal or business income tax matters, the CRA is presently holding these accounts in abeyance. No collection activity will be taken with respect to these accounts right now. For objections that are due between March 18 and June 30, 2020, CRA has extended the due date to June 30, 2020. The Canada Revenue Agency extended some of the filing deadlines for individuals, corporations and trusts in a move to help taxpayers and tax preparers dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Any money owed to the Canada Revenue Agency can be deferred until September 1, 2020, with no penalties or interest payable. Taxpayers that are unable to file a return or make a payment by the tax filing and payment deadlines as a result of COVID-19 can request the cancellation of penalty as well as interest charged to their account. Penalty and interest will certainly not be charged if the new due dates that the federal government has introduced to tax filing and payments are met. As soon as CRA service operations begin again, the Taxpayer Relief Program will review claims associated with COVID-19 on a top priority basis. Suspending Individual, T1, Validation and Review Some review of income tax returns was launched prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Taxpayers might have been contacted to provide more details in connection with amounts declared. If Canadians have gotten any CRA correspondence that provides a timeline for action or submission of information or backup documents, that is currently on hold. You don't yet need to respond. CRA does remind everyone that T is necessary to keep in mind that, although assessments have been delayed, it does not avoid future actions or evaluations from being finished. Taxpayers will need to keep their information and documentation in case they are chosen for review in the future.